Good morning, guys. Um, in the frozen tundra of North America, we've had some pretty good frost here for the last couple weeks. We had a morning of 39 degrees. Uh, this morning it was only 40 something, but it was a lot colder. Uh, they they finally got our heat on, and uh, <laughs> believe me, we we needed it. My my throat's been tickling for for weeks because it, you know at nighttime it's just freezing cold. Get up in the morning inside the apartment, frost is coming out of your mouth. You know it's warmer in the hallway than it is in the apartment. So the dude came up yesterday and said that the line is plugged, steam heat, and. Uh, so he's got that taken care of. And uh, we, the heat finally came on this morning. So, and uh, if it warms up today, yesterday it did not warm up at all. It was too cold, but if it warms up today, I'm gonna take the, the big green booger over here and we're gonna take a, go up and vote. So that'll be, our, that'll be our thing. And then Faye wants to stop up at the Filipino store. We got that dying fish that she's been buying and these little, fish things i love them i i just eat the heck out of them they're not they're not uh cheap like in the philippines but you know they're they're really good we like them so we're just gonna buy them we got our buddy sean is going to be heading to the philippines here pretty quick and uh we're probably he, uh we're gonna be doing sean buddy sorry i couldn't answer the phone uh but uh you know i shut the little ringer off when we go to bed because we've been going to bed early and getting under the warm covers because it's just been freezing in our apartment. So I'll have to get a hold of you later on, maybe today. <clears throat> but we're going to see if we can do one of them stream yards while he's in the Philippines. Uh, yesterday, I was uh, I was really bummed. I know he's an iPhone guy, and a lot of people love these stupid iPhones, but mine, I'm going to be so happy to just smash this thing on the stinking ground when I get another phone. So when I get the money, as soon as I can get some money up, I'm gonna buy another phone. Yesterday, the kids and I came out and we got some, we got some leaves. It's not the prettiest fall I've ever seen, but I wanted to take some pictures of the parking lot here. You know, this because down the road, you know, 20 years from now and stuff, the kids will be looking at us going, wow, look at the cars that used to be. You know, that's, it always interested me. And you got your, you got your trees are starting to turn. The locusts are already cleared up, but uh, the maples are still hanging tight. There's that. And this piece of junk camera decided it, it's not taking any pictures. Nothing I could do to get it to take a picture. And it's like, what? <laughs> you know what, there's some kind of secret code to these damn things. You know, you you're, you got a stupid phone, you want to pull it out, turn the camera on, and take a picture, and this and this stupid phone just decides it's not going to take a picture for nothing. And it would not take a picture all day. And then this morning I got up, pulled it out, turned the camera on, and it took pictures. So, so I don't know. It's it's some kind of secret master code that these things have. And if you if you don't like uh, a Chinese company, they, they don't allow you to work or something. I don't know. But... I hate this phone. It's an iPhone uh, 13, uh, biggest piece of junk I ever bought, and I, I'll never have another one. I'm gonna go back to Android phones when I can, and uh, I just don't like the Androids because they're so big and stupid. You know, they they make things really small, and now they're going the other way. They're gonna make these things so big. I don't want a, I don't want a big phone. I really don't. And besides, they won't fit in my little, in this thing. It won't fit in here. This thing only opens so far. I wanna, before I put my phone in here, I wanna put a rubber band on here. You know, like an X rubber band or something to make sure it doesn't come off. But uh, I've got a compass coming for this. I'll probably put it right here. I don't know. I wanna get, maybe over here, I'm not sure. But I wanna get a, uh, uh, the cigarette lighter thing for here right down here is my little connector and you just pop this out slide it connect it up and you got a cigarette lighter and I definitely want to get that on I didn't put this thing on all it did was pushed it forward which to me that's just stupid it didn't it didn't really help I have the I have the windshield it only raised it up about a half an inch so I decided not to put it on I got my nice little uh 
I got my nice little lock for the helmets whenever we leave so we don't got to carry them. There's the place I got it from. It was a heck of a ride. I got to get out there again. I got, I got my synthetic oil in there. Tires holding there really good. When it's cold like this, I don't have any problems with the tire. You know, it's just, it's just a wonderful, wonderful machine to ride on. Now, I hope I get plenty of time to ride it. My back is, is out. It is completely 100%. It's one of the reasons I left this uh, area years and years ago. Went out to California because I just couldn't take it every year. My back, last year my back hurt. This year, bad back. And it's really, it's really funny. My, my wife, she's complaining her back hurt. And I said, yeah, it's because of the cold weather. She doesn't want to move down south. She wants to stay in this area, which to me is ridiculous. But uh, she said, it's because it's the mattress. I said, well, all summer you didn't have any problem with the mattress. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, it gets cold and you got a problem with the mattress. So, you know, that's where we're at on that score. It's, uh, I got to get out of this. I got to get out of this cold weather. It's got me, it's got me crippled. I can't even stand up straight. So, and I'm getting tired of it. I go in Monday for an appointment to the VA. And uh, they want to scan me again and see if uh see if this cancer has gone i don't know you know as of right now it don't don't feel like i got anything going on with me i saw the kidney doctor last time and you know she said the kidneys are picking them picking back up you know they're going the right way they're going the direction they're supposed to go and it was because of the cancer that they were acting funny and uh <clears throat> They did that biopsy on there. I was pretty messed up with that for a good while, pissing blood and all that crap. But uh, I don't recommend getting a biopsy. That lady said, yeah, it's only going to tell us something we already know. So if, if I would have talked to her first, I would have just declined that because I had two weeks of misery with that. Just, you know, I, th I thought it was my kidney hurting, but it's not. It's my back because it's starting to work its way up to my shoulder blades and stuff. And uh, I'm doing the best I can. I get up and walk the kids to the bus every morning. And I'll tell you what, if I didn't have this, uh, if I thing over here, way to go for me. <coughs> That's for sure. <coughs> so, but hopefully it warms up today. Yesterday it never warmed up. At noontime, one o'clock, it was still cold out here. And I said, I'm not going, I'm not driving in the cold. I used to. When I was young, I had a, uh, I had a Suzuki 850 uh, shaft drive GLZ, and it was a fantastic bike. And uh, I used to carry a shovel so I could shovel away the snow drifts. I drove that thing every day. Winter, didn't matter how cold. I had a refrigerator suit. That's what they sold back then. I would recommend if you're gonna ride in the wintertime now, just a snowmobile suit. But I had a refrigerator suit and I had moon boots that I put a piece of leather on so I could shift. And then I had these uh, Gore-Tex, uh, uh, I had regular knit gloves that went on my hand, and then I had these mittens that went over the top. <clears throat> they had like a finger thing for your trigger finger. <coughs> and they were Gore-Tex. And then I used to wrap my, my neck in scarves. And I had a full face, real good full face bell helmet back then. And I'd cook to work. It didn't matter if it was 20 below zero. I, I rode that thing every day. And uh, I had a guy one time. There was a big snow drift. It was probably about six feet high and 15, 15 feet long. And it just covered, covered the entire road. And the only way to go was to go around. So I had my shovel. And I'm shoveling, I'm shoveling the path so I can get through. And the guy behind me in the car, he said, Hey, why aren't you shoveling it wide enough for me? I'm like, why would I shovel it wide enough for you? I'm on a bike, you knucklehead. And he goes, well, leave me your shovel. Well, I'm not leaving you my shovel. Go buy your own shovel. You know, <laughs> this guy. I, I don't get some people like he was going to give me my shovel back. But uh, that was a plastic. It was a plastic shovel, and it was just for picking up the drifts. Because there, when I was out in Ohio, there were a lot of, uh, a lot of drifts. And with this back, I, I don't need it. We got a, we got again, we got a lot of leaves blue in here again. Put the bikes up. Kids, this is how the kids do their bikes. Instead of putting them in neatly, 
Moom was the only one who parks his neatly. The other ones, they just throw it over there. <laughs> That's not very good. But there's our noisy stereo man. But look at this. See, we got some, we got some beautiful trees down there. Dorothy and I, when we were on the motorcycle last time, we saw, we saw a uh, beautiful, beautiful tree. Unbelievable, the red. It was, it was red like that chair right there. And it was like golden on the bottom and golden on the top. And, uh, you know, I got this, I got the stupid iPhone. That's the one that goes with me. So when I see something beautiful like that, it really sucks because I can't take a picture of it. Maybe I can, maybe I can't, you know. So I don't even bother pulling it out anymore because nine times out of ten it doesn't want to work. So what a, it's just a, just a rotten phone. I don't recommend them, guys. You know, I got it on a real good deal through the phone company, and I think what it is, it was uh, it must have been a refurbished or something. You know, it was broke in the first place, and then they they say they fix them, but they never really fix them. You know, they just stay broke. So one of these days, one of these days, I'm going to go back and get another Samsung and be done with this damn thing. I hate this phone. I can't believe it. I can't. You know, I can't do uh, what I'm doing right here. I'm doing this on the old beater phone because my new phone, the iPhone, will not allow me to put anything to YouTube. And people say, oh, well, you just do this and you just do that. Well, well wait a minute. Why, why do I got to do all this jump through hoops to make this phone work when I could just take a Samsung and it just works? <laughs> you know, I'm not jumping through hoops for some Chinese stupid company. They could take their phones and shove them right up their wazoo, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, don't, don't, if, if you want a good phone, stay away from the iPhones, guys. You just gotta stay away from them. They're, they're just, to, for me anyway. You know, it'd be, it'd be nice, maybe if I would've started out with one, then I would, then I would know how to operate it. People, people send me stuff all the time. I appreciate it, guys, on how to get it to work, how to get the things to work. And, uh, but, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to have to do that. I don't have to dick with a stupid phone. I want to turn it on, push the buttons, and it works. But the iPhones don't do that. So, but I'm going to go ahead and let you go. This is my wah. <laughs> it's, it's just one of the days, it, guys. It's cold. It is. It is stinking cold right now. And uh, I don't think it's going to warm up. If you look at these these clouds we got overhead, look at us. That's our wonderful cloud seating. I don't. I don't think we're going to warm up today, unless that sun comes out. It ain't. It ain't warming up. But uh, I want to vote. I want to get out there and vote. I don't want to go down on the fifth because I got a feeling it's going to be really packed. But it's real close here, where I got to vote. So y'all take care. And this is Rick Shaw out.